true JSON powerhouse solution. That's what you're getting with two JSON formatters. I've got a really cool demo to show you that will showcase how good JSON formatting can be. This web part is gonna be fantastic for use on your intranet homepage or any kind of homepage, really. It's called a Content Navigator, and it was actually created by the Marty McFly of SharePoint, Chris Kent himself. Now, he recently presented uh, just a few days ago on a Microsoft 365 and Power Platform community call. He wasn't showcasing this, uh, but he was showing a lot more cool things with JSON formatting, some inline editing things. I think you'll really like that. There'll be a link for that down in the description below. But let's get into this thing. This is really cool. I haven't seen anything that's quite like this before. It's going to have quick navigation links, and it's going to change the content in a different web part. It is really neat how this thing works. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. But first, we've gotta build out the list and the views that are gonna power everything. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is build out a list to house this data. So the view requirements for this, really it's just one single list. We're gonna be creating one called Content Navigator because that's the name of this solution. And we'll leave the title field because we're gonna use that, but we're gonna add a new text field. It'll be multiple lines of text. And you know, we can even turn on enhanced rich text. We're gonna call this one content and let's add this. And that's all we need to house this data, title and content. We want a single line of text and a multi-line of text. So now we need some data. So I'm gonna edit this in grid view. Now I'm gonna paste in my sample data that I already had prepared for this. So now we've got our data in here, and what we're gonna do is create the two views that we're gonna need that will power this solution. We've got two different JSON files. Both of them are gonna be view formatters. So we're gonna create two views to house this JSON. The first is gonna be the links that people will be clicking on. So I'll create a new view. This one is going to be a gallery view and a public one. And then we will format this and paste in our JSON. Okay, done, easy. Now let's create our second view that will present the content from each of these list items. We'll just call this one content. We'll format this one, advanced mode like always. And we go down to this second file, the content navigator JSON file. Copy this and paste it in here. And you notice that because we pasted in content from the web, we've got some, we've got a little HTML markup in here. We've got these divs. Now, what I could do is just go through each of these list items and remove those divs. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just going to switch this column over to plain text, just so you're not watching me update a ton of list items. And let's recheck that view. That looks better. Okay, so we've got our views built out. We've got everything ready to go. All we need to do is update a SharePoint page with this. So let's just hop straight into this home page, get into edit view, and let's find a good place for this. I like this spot right here. I'm gonna do a one third left section. Now we're just gonna add a list web part. We'll pick our content navigator list and we'll set the view to links, and that looks pretty neat. Now, what we'll need to do is edit this and do a little bit of cleanup work. Let's turn off the command bar and the see all button and apply that. Oh, and we lost our view, so let's set that back to links. Okay, that looks good, but we don't want the content navigator text in here. If we just simply delete it and save as draft, it's still gonna show up. So the trick for this and any other web part that's like this, is instead of just deleting it, delete it and then add a space afterwards, just one space. Now, if we save it as draft, the title doesn't show back up. Easy trick. Now we need to edit this and we're gonna add in our content. So we'll add another list web part, Content Navigator. And then under the View dropdown, we'll pick our Content View this time. But we'll still do the same thing with the title, add a simple space and then turn off command bar and see all. And then the view, make sure the view is content. 
and then we want to change the size from auto size to small. We don't want it to go down the page. We want it truncated like this, and that's going to be key to how this thing behaves. Republish this, and now let's try out this. Now that looks pretty nice. You've also got arrow buttons here to navigate this way, but this is all using JSON. That's it, it's just JSON. Now we're gonna take a look at how this is created as well, because it's not a lot of JSON, but it's using some internal hyperlinks between these two. So let's take a look at what this JSON is doing so that you have a better understanding for how this works and how easy a lot of this is to do with just simple JSON formatting. So we'll jump back into this solution and let's take a look at the links JSON first. Now this is a tile formatter. So this is the view formatter using the tile layout. So every tile is going to have a hyperlink. You see that with the A tag and the hyperlinks URL is going to be an expression tool underscore followed by the row index, which will essentially be a counter in this case because it'll start at probably zero. And then when it presents the next row, it'll be a one, two, and so on. So it's creating all these hyperlinks here. And then to present the visual element that we see on that list, it's creating a new div. And then inside that, it's gonna have a div with a little bit of card formatting for that tile. And then a paragraph tag with the text, that title column from the list item, applying some CSS classes to match the theme of that site. Also the card content class, so that again, it'll apply the correct styles for the tile layout that we're using. And then the text content of that paragraph tag is gonna be the title itself, if there is one, otherwise it'll just be a hyphen. But in this case, we shouldn't really ever have no text in that list for the title column, because of course we're presenting information that will show up on the homepage. So it's really just presenting those cards with a hyperlink on each one. That's it, it's not much. This is very little JSON to make something look that nice. This is turning on the hide selection feature so that we don't see the little dot where someone can select a particular item. And that's another key feature of this JSON formatter. So now let's hop over to the content navigator JSON, which is what we have on the right side here, this presenting all of this text. So the way this one works is it's going to be using the row formatter and it's gonna be creating a div to house everything that you're seeing on that screen, a div for each of these list items. And the key thing that makes this work is this ID field under the attributes, because this is going to match the hyperlinks that were created on the links web part. You see the tool underscore and row index. Now it doesn't have the hashtag because that's the way HTML in this case works. The link will have the hashtag because it should be looking for an ID matching this value. The value in this case being tool underscore and then the row index. So every button over here is going to have a hyperlink that will point to the list item that has this ID. So instead of a hyperlink going to another URL or another page, things like that, what you're typically used to seeing, this is going to an internal location on the same page. So that's all that's needed to wire up the hyperlink portion of this. We set the height to 240 pixels, so it's not too tall. And then inside that first div, we create a second one that's going to have a flex layout that will lay out the rest of these components. And that includes the title field and then our backwards and forwards arrows that you see here. Now those are hyperlinks and you see that they're also pointing to that same internal style link that the links web part is using. And since this is the hyperlink, this uses that pound sign syntax just to point to the one before this, which we know would be whatever the row index that we're on, minus one. So this goes back by one. And then after this element, you also see the forwards element with the same thing. It's a different icon because it's going to be pointing to the right. And the hyperlink has row index plus one. So this will go to the next item in the list. And then after that, you've got a div with the content field itself. So there's all the text that shows up on this web part, at least this text right here. So this is a very simple amount of JSON, a very small amount but look at what this thing does. It's really, really powerful. Now we've got some formatting issues here, sure. Whispers of auto 
uh, you know, we've got some text missing from this. So we can go back and clean that up. Clearly you want a smaller amount of text, not only so that it fits on these buttons, but also so that it's just quicker for someone to scan through with their eyes and click on what they need to click on. So it's that easy. Now I've got a link to this solution down in the description below. So definitely make sure you check this thing out because it's a very low effort, high reward type of a solution. This fits naturally onto any home page or anywhere where you want to display a lot of information, but don't want it to really take up a lot of room on the screen. I think your users would really like seeing something like this. So what do you think about this? I think this is fantastic. It's a great solution that Chris Kent came up with. I'm glad he shared this thing. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this kind of a solution, if you like this kind of a video. It gives me a lot of feedback for what you would like to see from this channel. And if you want to see another really cool JSON demo, click into this corner where I've got a JSON solution presenting praise cards. You got to see this thing. It's really nice looking. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.